Hi, I'm Kale Thomas. I'm a makeup artist. I have 15 years of experience in the film industry, and I'm gonna show you how to make a texture sponge. You're gonna need three things to make a texture sponge. You're gonna need a pair of tweezers, some scissors, and a latex sponge. First off, what you wanna do is take the scissors and soften the square edges of the sponge itself. There's no straight lines in nature, so you wanna recreate that by shaving the outside of the stipple sponge with the scissors. And you're just trimming away the 90 degree angles and off the sponge, like so. Creating a round edge on the sponge. This gets messy, so you're probably gonna wanna do this over a trash can. This is pretty common, so it's, we're gonna be doing a zombie makeup you're gonna be using this with a few different colors, so it's good to um, make a few of these in, adva in advance. After you have the edges rounded, next you're gonna take a tweezer and you're just gonna start picking very small holes. Now don't be afraid to really dig deep with the sponge because what you're trying to create is what we call in the industry a model, modeling effect. So you're gonna take the sponge and you're gonna pull it away, like so. Remember to get rid of the 90 degree edges around the outside of the sponge. So you, if you can see here, there's still a 90 degree, so I'm gonna pull that away and do it around the entire outside of the sponge. So now you're gonna add some color to the sponge so you can see the effect that you're trying to get. And it's a stipple effect. So this is just in our model. So if he tips his head this way and I lightly add the stipple effect to it, so you can see it's a model, opposed to if you had a normal sponge and you push it down, you get that. And that's how you make a stipple sponge. Thanks for watching and click on any of the links above for other zombie related videos. And feel free to send any requests to request at mahalo.com.